Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn how you can introduce yourself to someone else. First though, we need to talk a little bit about bowing. When you meet someone for the first time, or you're seeing someone who you haven't seen in a long time, bow. The deeper and longer the bow, the more respect is shown. For a formal or a business situation, you'll want to bow at around 45 degrees. Shaking hands is also acceptable in these sort of polite or formal situations. For formal or business situations, you also want to shake with both hands, and you do that by putting your left palm under your right elbow and shaking with your right hand. Alternatively, if you want to show extra respect, perhaps you're meeting your favorite celebrity, you can also just shake with two hands like this. For everyday interactions when you want to be polite, you don't need to do a full bow, you can simply just do a slight head bow like this. And with your close friends, you do not need to bow at all. You can just wave to them or say hi. So now that we know how to bow, let's talk about how we can actually introduce ourselves. And the first phrase we're going to learn is how to say, I am your name. When meeting anyone for the first time, you always want to be polite in Korean. So you're going to start out by saying, 저는, and then your name, followed by either 이에요 or 예요. And we'll talk about which one to use in a moment. First of all, 저는 comes from the word 저, meaning I or me, and 는, which is called the topic marker, which we'll have a lesson about in the future. So it literally means, as for me, or as for I. 이에요 and 예요 come from a verb called Ida, which means to be, and it kind of works like an equal sign. So saying Ieo or Yeo is like saying I equal and then your name. And the way it works is you'll use Ieo after a consonant or Yeo after a vowel. However, that Yeo is actually just pronounced as Eo. So you have two options, either Ieo after a consonant or Eo after a vowel. Now, there are other more casual ways that you can say I besides 저는. For example, you might see 나는. However, these ways are often going to be too casual when meeting someone for the first time, so I don't recommend using 나는 when meeting someone. We will cover more casual ways of speaking in later lessons, but for now, it's better to be more polite than to accidentally be rude. So use 저는 and then 이에요 or 에요. So, real quick, if your name is Pili, Pili ends in a vowel, so you would say Pili Eyo. Or if your name is Sokjin, Sokjin ends in a consonant, so it would be Sokjin Eyo. 저는 Pili Eyo, or 저는 Sokjin Eyo, like that. So, next, let's learn how to say nice to meet you to people who look to be a similar age as you, or in just a casual atmosphere. You can simply say, 반가워요, 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 like that. And to anyone else, you can use, 반갑습니다, 반갑습니다, 반갑습니다. Both 반가워요 and 반갑습니다 come from the verb 반갑다, meaning to be happy to see someone. These phrases can not only be used when you're meeting someone for the first time, but they can also be used when you're seeing someone after having not seen them for a long time. So in this way, they can not only mean nice to meet you, but also nice to see you. So I want all of you to do some practice with this. Try to introduce yourself. First, say hello. Then say your name with I am, followed by nice to meet you. Pause the video here and give it a try, and then I'll show you an example. So here's a practice example using all of these. First, you could start by saying, 안녕하세요. Hello. 저는 빌리예요. I am Billy. And finally, 반갑습니다. Nice to meet you. 안녕하세요. 저는 빌리예요. 반갑습니다. Hello. I am Billy. Nice to meet you. So now, how do you reply when someone says, nice to meet you? In English, you would say, nice to meet you too, but in Korean, you can just say, yes, nice to meet you, as in, yes, I am also nice to meet you. And you can do that with the Korean word, ne, which means yes. Ne, 반갑습니다. 
or ne, pangawoyo, depending on who you're speaking to. Ne, although it literally means yes, is also used together with phrases in this way to kind of mean like, all right, okay, or I understand. So it's kind of like saying, all right, nice to meet you, or okay, sure, nice to meet you. The opposite word from ne is aniyo, which means no. Aniyo. Aniyo. So learn that ne means yes and aniyo means no. So let's do a short conversation practice. We have two people, Kyungi and Wonbin. Annyeonghaseyo. Ne, annyeonghaseyo. 저는 경희예요. 저는 원빈이에요. 반가워요. 네, 반가워요. And then later on when they're saying goodbye, 안녕히 가세요. 네, 안녕히 계세요. But before we go, at the end of some lessons, I'm going to be adding some special notes that you can use for additional information to what we've learned. And the first thing I wanted to cover is that 저는 is most often just shortened in speech to 전, 전. So instead of 저는 빌리에요, you might often hear 전 빌리에요. Another thing is you might hear 만나서 used before 반가워요 or 반갑습니다. 만나서 actually comes from the verb 만나다, meaning to meet. So it can only be added when you're meeting someone for the first time. Now, you might also find the expression 처음 뵙겠습니다. This is a much more formal way to say nice to meet you for the first time, but is also much less common, so I would recommend just using 반갑습니다. And although we haven't learned this yet, instead of saying 저는, I, try saying 제 이름은, which means my name. 제 이름은 빌리에요. My name is Billy. Either one of these is okay. It's just something that you can try out in advance. So in this lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves by saying nice to meet you and saying our name. Make sure to practice this before going on to the next lesson and I will see you guys next time. 그럼 다음에 또 봐.